Here are instructions to put together your Congo cage. You will need the box of pieces, a screwdriver, and pliers. This may be a two-person job that requires patience. Following these instructions, you should be able to construct the cage within 45 minutes. Begin with the large front and back panels and two base pieces. Line the base piece up, flat side facing out, screw holes facing up with the panels. The panels should be standing with the gaps on the bottom. Screw in the small, round head screws to connect the base to the panels. Repeat this on the opposite side with the other base piece. There should be eight screws total holding them together. Don't tighten any of the screws on the cage until you are completely finished putting it together. They should be tight enough not to fall out, but loose enough for you to make adjustments if necessary. This is what your cage should look like so far. It should be able to stand on its own. Next, slide in the bottom side panels on both sides. The bars should be vertical. Make sure the small posts on all the side panels fit into the holes. You may need to use pliers to do self-adjusting. Next, you will be using the six posts provided in the box. Separate the two posts with brass on them from the other four. Place one of the regular posts over the side panel. Screw in a round head screw on both sides of the post to hold it together. Repeat this on the opposite side with the other side panel. Four screws total should be used for this part. This is what your cage should look like at this point with both the bottom and side panels installed. Next, slide in the middle side panels on both sides, making sure the small posts on the bottom fit into the holes of the post you've just screwed in. Repeat the process of placing the posts over the side panels and screwing them in. Here's the cage with the bottom and middle side panels in place. Now, slide in the top side panels on both sides, making sure the small doors are on the very top. This time, use the remaining two posts with the brass to hold together the panels. Use four round head screws for this part. This is what your cage should look like now with all the side, front, and back panels set up. Next, take the plain roof panel, slowly lowering it onto the top of the cage. The screw holes should line up and you can use a round head screw to attach the roof to the top of the cage. Here's the cage with the roof attached on. Now, use the flathead screws to attach the locks on both front doors of the cage. Keep the lock halfway unlocked and loosely screw it onto the door. You can use pliers and the screwdriver to make adjustments to the door if necessary. The locks should now be installed and work correctly on both front doors. Next, insert the bottom grill by sliding it into the rack. Then, do the same with the pull-out tray, sliding it in beneath the grill. With the cage assembled, you can put together the stand with the shelf using the 12 larger screws and 12 bolts. Begin with the cage accessory shelf. Place it on the two curved stand sides. Using the four longer screws, screw the shelf onto the bottom horizontal bar. Next, screw the two bars onto the stand sides using the eight shorter screws. The flat edge should go on the outside of the stand while the square bar is on the inside. Also, the screws should go on the outside while the bolts are on the inside. Use the pliers to tighten all the bolts on the stand. The four wheels should easily fit into the legs and your completed stand with the shelf should look like this. Simply tighten all the screws before placing the cage on the stand and add the shelves and ladders to complete the assembly. To maintain your cage, use our all-purpose Cage Clean, a hard-working yet gentle cage and accessory cleaner. See our website for hundreds of options of quality products to accessorize your pet's cage.